Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with your favorite dog, Little Taco. So I don't know if you guys keep much track of my Instagram stories, but if you've been following up, what now? No, don't destroy the Christmas tree. He's trying to destroy the Christmas tree now. So if you guys keep track about my Instagram stories, you guys probably know by now there's a video coming soon about K-pop and K-pop looks, but it's going to take me a while to record and I uploading every Tuesday. So I didn't want to mess that up. So here I am and I'm going to do a Q&A. Q&A is actually, I only have done one and it was my first YouTube video ever. Please don't go rewatch it. It's so cringy and awkward. It's been a while now, so I asked you guys for more interesting questions and let's see what you guys gave me. So first question is actually about Taco. This is a question for you, Taco. Are you ready? This question is from Ana R. El Pedroso. I think she's Portuguese. I have a question about Taco. Did he have any sort of training? What his breed? So do you want to answer them or what? So basically his breed is Can Corso or Italian Mastiff. I got this dog because I love this breed and it's a very expensive breed and I never uh, bought a dog, I never purchased a dog because I don't know, I feel kind of weird paying for a dog but I truly understand why people do it. I understand people that choose to adopt and I understand people that really love a breed and don't mind paying because don't get me wrong, I know there's some really nasty dog sellers out there but there are some of them that are really passionate about certain breed and it's very expensive to nurture and to care and, and give everything the breed needs to be healthy so I understand why some breeds are expensive but I never paid for any of my dogs the first one was a gift and the second one taco Taco was also a gift from my best friend she was working at uh, the breeder breeder is it? I know this is turning to a how I get my dog video and that's not what it is so I'm going to speed up so basically that's how I got Taco and he was always like a big dog even for a baby he was big so it was very hard to walk him on the street and when there was other dogs around it was crazy he got training for like maybe a year once a week for like a year or something and it really helped. I would really advise if you have troubles to find a, a dog trainer because it's more about you than the dog. You will learn how to control dogs in general and just how to hold the leash in the right way. But he's been better now, right? He's just a gentle giant. Now next question is from Laurie Hacker. Hi Laurie. He asks, what's the craziest thing that has ever happened to you since you're a content creator. So the craziest thing I would say is probably just being approached on the street. I'm such an introvert and I'm socially awkward, but I feel most of content creators are, at least the ones that I see on YouTube and all that stuff, pretty much all say the same thing. We are pretty much very introvert people and that's why we chose to just turn on a camera and create content in our house and that's the way that we choose to express ourselves we just sit at home create content behind our four walls and it's so weird because we see the views we see the numbers but not every time connect that with like people humans behind those numbers so when you go out in the street and you get recognized and people reach out to you it's very uh, weird and, and it's so cool it's like you finally see that your your work really reaches people like the other day i was in i think it was Ibaranim and a girl came to me and she said that she followed me for a long time and she liked my content and i was like do you want a picture or something and she said no i just want a hug and that was like the sweetest thing ever so shout out to that girl it's so cool that people just want like uh to see that you are a human too and to interact with you so yeah that's the most interesting thing about this job um yeah next question is from ayla clinch what's your favorite fragrance well actually my favorite fragrance my favorite perfume is by calvin klein and it's that perfume they have the ck1 which is for both men and women because i really love men's fragrance more than women's fragrance and that one is perfect because it's like the middle ground so that's my favorite next question is from lexina456 who is your celebrity crush so my celebrity crush is actually tom hardy i think he's just so gorgeous so sexy now next question is from kenny i think what personality trait has gotten you in the most trouble so <laughs> that would be the fact that i'm an introvert once again just because 
Back when I was younger, I was so shy. So when I was walking around with my parents as a child and they saw someone like friends and stuff, I would get so shy and I wouldn't say hi or, or really like give kisses to that person. People sometimes were really mad and were like telling my, my parents like Your kid is such a stranger, your kid is not polite. And stuff like that. So that would be what gets me in trouble. And other thing is that I usually don't look at people's faces when I'm walking by. I just try to just walk and I usually don't care to look at people around me and that gets me in trouble as well because sometimes I pass people that I know and I don't say hi because I can pass like right through you and not see you. So I want to apologize if you see me on the street and I don't say hi, it's not that I'm some it's just because I get distracted a lot and I just look ahead. I'm sorry. Next question is from Tyra7530. Do you shop at Adika and Akira? What the hell is that? A shop that I don't know of. This is so interesting. I don't shop there, but maybe I'm going to start to shop there. Oh, shop Akira. I have collabed with them before. I definitely shop at Akira. Adika, I didn't know of. Now, the next question is from Hasna.el. What is your origin? I am from Portugal. Right, you're from Portugal too. Now, my parents, my mom was born in Portugal and my dad was born in Mozambique. So, yeah, that's my origin. Now, next question is from Red Address. And she asks, where did you study fashion? So I studied fashion in a college named Ezad here in Porto, Portugal. I really liked this college and the time that I was in there. It was like three years. And the thing I liked the most about it is that they really focus in creativity there and to make you think outside the box. And that's what I love the most about that college. And there's a lot of people out there having fashion brands and doing their thing without having a fashion degree. So I don't think it's mandatory. But if you have the chance, I think it's something cool. Next Next question is from Jules Evette. I'm sorry if I'm saying your names wrong. And it's face shoes or like your go-to shoes. So my favorite shoes are sneakers, obviously. Those are my go-to shoes. I barely use any high heels. I think a pair of white Air Force is like everyone's <laughs> must shoe. It's so comfortable and cool. A pair of chunky boots also is one of my go-tos. And maybe some comfortable sneakers like my New Balance, I think they are called the V5s, the grey ones, those are great or... oh, and a pair of black all-stars, black converse also, all-time fave so those are my go-to shoes so I hope you guys like this video, let me know other questions in the comments and I can do like a keep up Q&A from time to time, so why did you run away? we need to say goodbye to our followers, what are you doing? so Taco is going to sleep now I guess I see you guys in the next video. Love you.